Are you ready? Oh, I have two more mumbo tokens than you do. <laughs> Great! <laughs> it's so childish. <laughs> Thank you, I feel so much better about my life. The audio. Yes. Is the audio Yes it, yes it is. Yes it is. Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie with me, Splittable Infinitive. And me, Rock Paper Mario. And we're about to do Gobi's Valley. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> because neither of us can remember any of the stuff. Pretty <laughs> much. Okay. Gobi's Valley, like, as far as worlds are concerned, is where I, I kind of start not being able to have a path through the world. Like, in all the other worlds, I kind of have a, an order in, like, that I do them in. But as soon as I get to Gobi's Valley, I'm just like, okay, I don't know what to do first. Exactly, I know. Okay, this is when the beehives start getting dangerous. You see all these bees around the beehive? <laughs> Touch my honey this time and you'll be some! <laughs> yeah, okay. They finally wised up to our, uh, to our intentions. Okay, this well, Maybe guy. there just weren't any bees in the other ones. Trunko wants rain. <laughs> I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, part? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> take that however you want. Oh man. No. <laughs> Need water. Yeah, well, you can't pass any. Oh. If I'm not mistaken. I like Trunk. I, I like him too. But there's even there's an even better character in this in this level. Yes. It's like, why? There is. We're not going to spoil it. No. <laughs> okay, I get out of this first section, please. <laughs> Trunko is a dumb shit anyway. I mean, he lives in a pond and he's looking for. Water. I know. Okay, this always scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Look at this. <laughs> Deshlin's ahead. There you go. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, but that always scared the complete crap out of me when I was a kid. That is the wrong button. Death lends a hand is the name of an episode of Columbo. <laughs> Thank goodness I've seen every episode of Columbo. I love Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> I could just watch Columbo all day, it's just, just the most entertaining show. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have a thing for old doddering sleuths or something. <laughs> oh. Man, I wish we were the crocodile in this level jeez but no what a seasick crocodile seasick crocodile yes that yeah, you could be like a sand oil yeah that would be cool i don't yeah. even know if you can get to these things from here yes you can ah, you can try ah, one can dream. yeah <laughs> we'll, fix we'll fix you right up Doll. <laughs> like, like randy jackson yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In his hall of dogs. <laughs> I told Adonia that like, I that you know um when he does his radio thing that last time on whatever. Yeah. That like I advised him that that I let him know that if you talk with a metal kazoo in your mouth, it makes it sound like an old radio. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Which is. <laughs> So that's what, that, that, I don't know why I thought of that. But... Does it really make you, does it really do that? It does, because it kind of gives that kind of like, um, do you know that kind of vibrate kind of, and, and like feedback-y kind of tone to your voice. Huh, I didn't know that. Okay, well the first no. thing that I'm going to do <laughs> is, um, because there's one part that you can seriously die on, and I want to take care of that first before I do any more collecting. And I don't remember which pyramid is which. That's the only thing about this level. There's like a bajillion pyramids, and they're they've all got stuff going it, on inside of them. I think is art is the one you're thinking about the one with the bitches switch in it. Yeah. Because I think that's the one you need the speedy shoes to get into. I think. Really? I yeah, I'm not so. sure. Though. Well, whatever's in here, I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah th I love this world. It's so funny. Yay! Oh yeah, I know this guy. I always forget these notes. Yeah, there's like two in each alcove or whatever. And you know what I noticed like when I was playing Banjo Tooie? What's that? The guy! Do you see his little pet? That's the same one King Dingaling or whatever has. Are you serious? Yeah! <laughs> wow. I was so happy when I saw that. I was like, that's the same 
pet it's a thing serpent that pet. Got. Yeah. That little weird thing. And if what it looks like is this thing that I got when I was in London that was like a ball with like a ferret attached onto it. And when you turned on the ball, it looked like the ferret was rolling around on the floor or something. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what it looks like, those ferret things. <laughs> Oh, I'm really bad at. How many do you have to? Like a million. Okay, we have. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bunch of blue eggs. What is wrong? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It'll let us go now. They're like bouncing all over the place. No, I like to. I like to stand on the thing, but of course it wouldn't let me do that. Aww. I know it's so fun to like stand on top of his head and let him like. Do whatever. Oh, it's only it's a timed thing. Well, we got a jiggy. <laughs> We're gonna need another jiggy. <laughs> it's not the jiggy that I wanted to get. I swear. If I, I don't even remember where the where bottles is. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> where is this, Harry? I don't know. Find it yourself. There he is. There. Where? He's right there. I saw. Oh my Behind god. It. This is the f everyone. This is the first time he's been very helpful to me. I helped you find that honeycomb. Piece. Oh yes, you did. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to mark or to make her run really fast for a limited time. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> like That's a the one thing. <laughs> Jump Back to the Future 2. That's the one thing I wish that, you know, by 2015, that they'd have invented those shoes that, like, lace up themselves or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. That's the one thing. I could forgo, like, the, the big shark that comes out of the cinema and the flying cars and the fax machines that tell you you're fired and stuff if I had those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the thing that you can't go up until you get the speedy shoes, but I want to go ahead and grab these notes first because I know that if I don't, that the that the notes are going to be all like my main concern. Yeah, they're going to be distracting <laughs> me when I do whatever. Well, See, you want to kind of to the inside track when you're going up there as well. Yeah, there's like no there to... there's no way to get this in time. And now Grunty's going to like trash talk us. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't even remember where the speedy shoes are, I really don't. Grunty is one of the coolest video game villains ever, definitely. Oh just yeah. Just, like, Although... Just a funny I... combination of just like, wickedness and hilarity. Although I have to say, I have, I already... Be! I already have my, my <laughs> favorite, um, video game villain. It's Who's not... that? It's Zant from Twilight Princess. Zant? Oh, Zant is cool. I love. I know. I. I know. Magus is pretty cool, even though he's not the real villain of that game. I think he's a really joke. While he's a villain, and the whole way that you can make him like come onto your team and whatever. Oh yeah. Like, that's really. Cool. Okay. Where... Oh, I know where the speedy shoes are. They're up here. Yeah, they're up on that hill. Oh, Next to thank you. Thank you. Next to Park. <laughs> oh yeah, they're up on the hill. Duh. Right now the game. <laughs> Like in the road. Is I, I never knew what he was saying. Hey, this is the only way that you can get this. And you know what drives me crazy? The timer's still going while the while the thing. I don't even know. The timer's still going while the animation of the of the door opening while is going. The scene is playing. The timer does not stop. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> like, you make it in here, like, with barely any time left. Just by the skin of your teeth. God, this isn't the place that I wanted to be either. <laughs> oh, no, either. I thought it was. This is... I'm so stupid. I always forget about this, that you can make the... Joe, like, that you can make the water come out, and I always try and get that Jinjo and that stuff like that down at the bottom in where the sand is. Push out the... Oh. <laughs> Push out the water in there. Nice. And I always, I always manage to do it, and then this is like the last thing I do, and I'm like, oh, I could have just done that, I'll have to remember that next time, and I never do. Well, you have to use like the shoes or whatever, because if you don't, 
or the the wading boots, because if you don't, there's like that sand at the bottom. Yeah, I usually just try and yeah, <laughs> try and get to the floggy pad. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more collecting until I do all the pyramids, okay? That's that's what's gonna happen. Cause it makes me nervous, cause I think it's this pyramid then. It's gotta be. Cause I mean really one of them anyway. <laughs> well Donkashun, my friend. <laughs> I love jumping before that cutscene, cause it's just like you look so stupid standing on top of that thing. This has got to be the smallest pier- oh god. Oh no, this isn't it either! <laughs> Had to go to the very last- Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Kill you before you have a chance to just get all up in my grill, man. Yeah, you can hip kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest line that movie when that guy joined the mask. When your man is like, you can hip kiss your ass goodbye because his name <laughs> is Stan Ipkin. It's just so stupid. <laughs> it's so funny, I love that movie so I'm much. I'm really bad at memory games. I think that one's up here. Nope, but I do know where that one is. See, if that guy were there, that mummy guy, it would be such a... This would be so much more difficult than it needed to be. No, darn it, no. Kazooie's right here. Nothing no, that's Banjo! <laughs> I suck at this. Banjo is in the middle! Oh, that's a no. <laughs> Sorry. I know there's two next to each other. Okay, yeah, the Jinjo is there next to each other. Oh god, was that over here? No, it's no. under Mumbo. Under Mumbo? Under Mumbo. <laughs> under Mumbo. And then this one. See? God, I'm so bad at matching games. Like, it's. Oh, there we go. This one's over here. No, it's not! Man, there, there are kids who watch Sesame Street that are <laughs> better at Shut Sesame up! <laughs> <laughs> they give you, like, so much time to do this, though, so you know what? Just. Haha! -ha. See, I remember. That you should suck at it. I remember <laughs> that, that eggs were there from a previous playthrough. Oh, you the, the feathers. <laughs> I wonder which ones are next! Banjo, saving, saving Banjo for lives. Yay! I can't believe that I went to go find, like, the, the really hard pyramid and. I've just been like doing all this crap in between. <laughs> Why not? It's fun. <laughs> well, if I die, I'm going to be rather upset. Where is it then? There's only three pyramids, isn't there? There's four? There's the one that you have to. Oh, it's the one that you have to fly through all the rings. <gasps> you know, the... Right! Yeah. <laughs> You're so smart. Yay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so smart. Oh, I'm so smart. S M R T. I mean S M A R T. <laughs> There's a Simpsons hidden thing. Um, I think it was Hedonia Thirty Seven who played Simpsons Hidden Run, isn't it? I don't remember. It was someone. Yeah, I have Simpsons Road Rage. Oh yeah, no, it was Simpsons Road Rage, wasn't it? Yeah, my bad. I get this. I think Hedonia has both of them though. Yeah, it was uh, Simpsons Road Rage that had all the really hilarious like. Well, I guess both of them would, but. Simpsons Road Rage had like a bunch of these hilarious catchphrases that that they would say. I used to play that all the time, and I don't even know why, because it's one of those games that's really unf unfulfilling. You don't really like. There's no point in playing it, so I don't know why I played it. I so played much. it all the time too. Like my cousin, <laughs> it, it was my cousin's game, and we would play that thing to death. But we would always do like <laughs> we would always do two player. Two player in that game's really fun. Yeah, it is. But I don't know, I hate The Simpsons now. Like, I used to love The Simpsons up until a certain point, and then I just started hating the newer ones, because they're just not funny anymore. To me, I know, like... <laughs> okay, no. the, the, the box is coming up saying there's an internet connection problem. But oh it no, seem shh! To be a problem. Don't, uh, don't jinx us. But yeah, I mean, it just stopped being funny to me. I don't know if it's funny to... Like, I don't know, I just... I'm sure there are people who still love it, but well, yeah. I don't know, I don't find it funny anymore. Well, you know, things change, definitely. Like, I, I can tell that the humor has changed in it, yeah. I just find it retarded now, would you speak clever? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't re realize how many of these, these, there's, these, the, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I love the music in Kobe's Valley. <laughs> I know! 
That's so funny. <laughs> That's funny. I find it kind of hilarious, I should know. Just like the way you said, it's so silly. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I don't do Pegasus laughs at the end of every scent. <laughs> it's like, woo!